In this video, I'm going to show you one of my favorite little passing concepts out of the trips tight in formation. This is a little bit of a mesh style concept, it's going to be kind of a quick dot. But what's really good about this play is it does a great job at attacking man to man coverage. And it kind of forces your opponent uh, to not blitz you as much, especially if you can make quick reads on this play. Um, so the play is out of the play PA slot corner in the trip side in. If you want to get my entire trip side in offensive ebook, make sure you join the Patreon. I'm going to put a link in the description down below for just 10 bucks. You'll be able to get access to everything over there, including all of our ebooks and our updates. So again, if you want to sign up for that, the link's in the description. All right, guys, so the setup is very simple. We are going to C route our solo wide receiver. We're going to drag our tight end and our inside trips receiver. So it looks like this. And then we're going to wheel our running back right out of the backfield. Now, if you take a look here at the play art and man coverage, you're going to see that they're misaligned because trip side in is really good for misaligning. And basically, the safety has to make a decision. Oftentimes, it's going to cause a natural man switch. And it leaves that quick throw relatively open um, for the running back to be able to attack quick. So most people know that. So they'll, what they'll do is if the running back like runs to the flat like that, they're going to kind of shoot out like a hard flat style uh, defender. So what you'll be able to also do here is you just want to step up and you want to try to throw the tight end over the middle of the field. And as you can see, it's really, really good for attacking uh, this style of defense. And so what they have to kind of start to do is they have to start dropping some players uh, to be able to take this away. Otherwise, you're either going to hit the tight end drag or you're going to hit the the, um, the running back pretty much all game. So then um, now we have this C route on the left side of the field as well. Now, again, this tight end drag, they basically have to hard flat to stop the tight end drag. They kind of honestly have to hard flat to stop – um, you know, the, the running back as well. So they kind of have to have two hard flats here or two purples, and then the user is going to be in the middle of the field, probably on some type of mid read. So the other thing that you'll see here is on this left side, uh, you have your C route, and then you also have this post over the middle that does a really good job of attacking man to man. Now, the other thing that is, uh, is kind of interesting is if they do hard flats, like let's say they have the hard flats like this, Number one, if they're not pressing you on the right or on the left, a lot of times the C route will just get, I mean, absolutely naked against man coverage. As you see right there, get pretty open, um, especially if you're running your trips like with the default alignment that you have. That should be a pretty consistent read for you. Now, the other thing is, let's say they have kind of this alignment, they have the hard flats. What you'll notice is if they start to drop coverage like that, this man switch, he'll take kind of a false step and you can highball and freeform basically up and over the top and try to get some leverage uh, with your running back. And so this can be very helpful for attacking, you know, just different style defenses. Again, if they're playing you in one on, if it's a one on one, sometimes I'll test it just to see if this will hit over the top. But a lot of times, because they get so misaligned here, you can kind of hit that over the top. Now, if they have a KO, um, it's a little bit different, but you know, worth a shot against against this concept. Now, another thing that I want to quickly point out about this side uh, of the screen, let's say they have a hard flat here, and then, you know, let's say they're kind of trusting, but they're going to have to lurk back into the middle of the field uh, to take away the post route, and the, as well to take away Eric Berry uh, on his, or the, the inside trips here on his route. What you can do is you can actually throw this before he gets to the flat zone on that field and a way that makes this even better um, specifically against man coverage is to basically take the tight end instead of putting him on a drag try putting him on an in and what an in route does especially if it's short and elite it gets a little bit sharper of a cut and so it can actually beat man coverage a little bit more consistently than a drag can uh, in this year's game so let's say that they are running uh, some zone style concepts. Uh, a lot of people like to do something like this um, against trip side end, depending, of course, on, on how they want to attack it. The thing is, if they play a hard flat over there on the left side, because of the spacing that you have in trip side end, it's really hard for them to do that because there's all this space right in here where we can throw that tight end over the middle of the field. So now what they have to do is they have to have some type of yellow zone over here on the side. So it might look something uh, like this. And again, the users in the middle field probably going to be taking, um, you know, that other defender, let's say, you know, for example here, now you're starting to see what they have to do. They have to kind of really drop some serious help uh, to take away this play.
The other thing is your running back will clear out this space and you can throw the ball right in that little pocket as well. So it's not just the drag routes don't just attack the flat area of the field, but you can actually, if you can make a quick read, these drags will do a really good job of attacking kind of the short intermediate area of the field that people normally don't want to cover, whether it's zone or man. And so you can kind of utilize this play to attack a lot of those different, you know, concepts. Now, another thing that I want to point out is a late read that you can make here. So when you take your running back, put him on this wheel, he's going to kind of turn up at the numbers just like that. And if you wait on this, you can a lot of times throw this kind of in that little pocket. So again, kind of depending on how, how much the user wants to carry this post route. Uh, from my experience, most people are going to carry it all the way across the middle of the field. There is a um, kind of something that you can do around that. I'll talk about that in just a second. Um, but what you'll see here is if they don't, like let's say they, you know, let's say they did, um, you know, something like like this. Now what you're going to see is that this this running back route will clear out any kind of zone, any kind of deep blue zone, like a deep perp or a, like an outside quarter or an outside third. This uh, seam wheel will clear that out, and then you can throw this kind of right in there, and you just want to ag back to the ball away from the KO. It's kind of a late read to make but it is pretty decent. Now, um, the other thing I did want to quickly point out as well is let's say, for example, that our uh, opponent wants to use her like that route across the middle of the field and take that away, okay? So if they want to do that, um, then what we're able to do is um, a couple different things we can do, but basically it kind of revolves around the fact that you can actually go ahead and you can take this backside uh, route and put him on like a smart routed in or a, a basic in route and kind of honestly create like almost like a double mesh uh, with the spacing that you get in trip side in actually not terrible for attacking the middle of the field if they are maybe putting an outside third over there to take away the C route. So that's PA slot corner, uh, the mesh variation uh, of this play. This is one of my favorite plays for just attacking a lot of the different things that your opponent can do defensively. Uh, understanding that if you take these quick reads over the middle, the quick ends, the quick post routes, the quick wheels, all those things, um, they really can make it hard to defend this formation. So if you want to get my entire uh, trip side in offensive ebook, head down to the description and go join the Patreon. Ten bucks will get you access to everything, all of our ebooks, all the offensive and uh, defensive ebooks.